Welcome to part number five of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the five races in stage one. So there's one for each category, circuit, drag, drift, sprint, and street cross. The first one we're going to do is the street cross race up here. Yo, listen here. You're about to be fully felt by the street cross. This is the hottest new kick slam in the race world. These here tracks are tight. There's very little room to bend the curves, so make sure your ride's dialed in right. Do whatever it takes to get that other guy out of your grill, because the inside lane is where you want to be. The best line in and out of the turns is going to shave serious time off your run. So, tune it for quick sprints and tight slam down control. You know what I'm saying? All right then, get out there and go savage, bro. Well, the sad part that really disappointed me is the fact that the street cross tracks are the drift tracks from Underground 1. But hey, whatever. Here we go. For the first race with our actual 240SX. That's not an outrun. And okay. That's a good start, I guess. <laughs> Pretty much. They say, oh, how could we release this game in time before the holidays? Oh, Street Cross. Oh, huh, okay. Just do the drag races. Or the drift races, I mean. All the drift tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just slightly change the backgrounds a little bit. And then instead of these product placement sponsors, use these product placement sponsors instead. Good idea, guys. And the first race was really easy. Hey, man. Nice race back there. But you know what they say, winning ain't everything. Total annihilation is what you're going for. The bigger the gap between you and your opponent, the more rep you get. So maximize out there. I am playing the PC version, Louie. Well, it at least kind of changes them up because the faces are different compared to grab. Yeah, true. True. I'm playing the PC version. Every Need for Speed game I play most likely will be the PC version. Except for probably Hopper Suit 2. Alright, so this is the drag race. Hey, yo, man. Street drag is the influence behind everything we got. Check it like this. The RPM is the key to getting ahead of the competition. Launch at the right time and rock it into the lead with speed. But if you slow about it, you'll end up at the back of the pack. Launch is followed by shift, so it's next. It's the daddy of success, so hit it up at the perfect shift point for max power. Now remember, if you slam it too soon or too late, you'll be coming in last. <laughs> I know, right? If the other guy gets past you, just chill and slide into his slipstream and sit in his draft. Gain precious speed and then make your move to bounce right on by. This is gonna be big, dog. You ready? Good. Go out there and prove yourself. Oh my god, it's so corny. shift not necessarily a good shift but or perfect shift I mean damn it I missed a perfect shift again I think if everybody gets totaled in a drag race then whoever gets totaled last is the winner I think I was gonna say that car better not come down <laughs> Get ready for the 5-0. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want to see if we can blow out the engine before the race ended. Alright, so let me make a thumbnail for this video real quick. And let's continue. Ooh, we unlocked new window 10. Oh yeah. Two races conveniently put together over there. Wait, really? Are you sure? That makes no sense, though. I know, the thumbnails for this game are going to be a little bit easier than Underground 1.
And here we go. Yeah, exactly. You might try it. <laughs> Let us know how that goes. Wouldn't that be kind of hard though? Because you'd have to actually total the other cars too. Okay, well this race is just easy. Already halfway there and you got a four second lead. Pretty much. <laughs> Like, there's no guarantee that it's going to happen with the AI. Like, literally, they, I don't know, man. Like, they change characters so much. It's so dumb. So, yeah, those are the different camera angles. But for this kind of game, I like to play with Chase's cam. Yeah, that's a good way to win. So two more events. The circuit race up there, and then at the stadium, there's a drift event. So not a bad start, although we started on pole, so yeah. Damn, oh my god. Please tell me I can get that as like a thumbnail, for the love of god. They all took themselves out. Dude, I'm not, yes, I agree with you LT, and that's why I'm not playing this game on hard mode, because the freaking rubber banding is ridiculous in URL races. It's straight up unfair. So many, like so many times, it's so unfair. Well, that was a terrible corner. Oh, really? Well, I didn't know that. I just kind of disabled the crash cam itself because I think it's it kind of ruins the flow of the game for some reason for me like I don't know I forgot to disable it underground one but I don't know like yeah this time around I actually kind of remembered to get rid of it damn it we're okay everything's fine We're still going strong. So one more lap and then the race is over. Yeah, this has been a really easy set of races so far. Uh, that's that's the game itself. 
That's just the game itself for some reason. Like the, the game, e even on my PC, like on my screen, the game is like that. I can't really do anything about that, sadly. Yeah, I've tried to like stretch the screen out, but it, it just looks really weird even if you stretch it a little bit. So, yeah, it's something I gotta kind of live with, sadly. And there we go! That's race number four down. What have we unlocked? Exhaust tips. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's nothing else on our inbox. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, hell yeah, that's the plan, dude. I'm getting myself an Escalade. And that bitch is getting some spinners on it. Ooh, cutscene, okay. all about style and control remember these three words speed steering and handbrake because they all play a factor in setting up those sweet moves that are gonna get you racking in some heavy points make sure you don't go crazy with the brakes because the faster you go combined with the more slides you hit the higher your score is gonna be now this score will dictate the multiplier you're gonna get this multiplier will affect the score of your next drift, so make sure it's high. After you get all them details working together, you gotta start blending drifts into one another. Mesh your drifts into one long seamless slide, and the scoreboard will light up something hard. Now if you think you're wired tight, it's time to go B-I-G big. Try hanging your rubber into the shoulder for bonus points. The more tires you slide through the lanes, the faster you rack up that score. Just remember to stay off the walls, or you lose all your points for that set. So, bro, let's get down to some business and heat up them streets. Isn't that a football pitch? I'm not sure what you mean by that. And, oh man, he's back again. Yep. <laughs> Sadly, that's the last time we hear from him, I think. There's no other tutorials, and I just killed all those people. Race is really close with myself in second place. The other two guys, they're nowhere to be found. Okay, I think I won. Yep, I won. Oh yeah, I know about the downhill drift. Oh! Oh yeah, that's the last tutorial when we unlock Jackson Heights. like a couple of companies want to represent you that means you qualify for the underground racing league i told you about no traffic no streets just pure driving all of it takes place on a controlled private course now since you've set up shop with me i'm gonna act as your agent i'll take a cut off the top in return for letting you know what's worth looking at did i agree to this no ah, that's cool whatever rachel i guess you know what you're doing and yeah, we unlocked Beacon Hill, boys. Here we go. And how did it go? But, 
you're, if you're totally last, you get first. That makes no sense. That's so stupid. <laughs> so, guys, that's the end of stage one. So now we begin stage two, and we begin by collecting all the bank and info icons. Hey, did you hear? The tunnel to Beacon Hill just got cleared. You should scope it out. Talk to you later. All right, thanks.